group of GOP House members says it is time to draw a line in the sand. They say President Obama has gone too far when it comes to ignoring laws he doesn't like or simply changing them without ever consulting Congress. They're backing a House resolution that, if adopted, would authorize a lawsuit against the executive branch. Joining us now, one of the co-sponsors who signed on to the resolution, South Carolina Republican Trey Gowdy. Congressman, good to see you today. Yes, ma'am. How are you? I am very good. I want to ask you about this, though, because there's legal precedent out there, essentially from 2011, when a group of lawmakers tried to sue uh, over President Obama's intervention in Libya. And a federal court basically told them members of Congress essentially pretty much don't have standing. It's nearly impossible for them to bring a lawsuit against the executive branch. How would this work if it got through the House? Individual members of Congress uh, have a very difficult time asserting legal standing. Uh, what Tom Rice, my friend from South Carolina's goal is, 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 to, is to try an institutional approach. The, the case law that says members don't have standing also allows for the institution itself under a theory of vote nullification that if the executive is just nullifying the votes of a co-equal branch of government that we may have standing. So an individual member, the case you referenced was Dennis Kucinich, uh, uh, challenging the actions in Libya, he does not have standing. But the institution of Congress as a whole, if it relates to recess appointments,